continues. Brush fires continue to burn in Massachusetts. In fact, there have been dozens across the state now. 22 News reporter Claire Overton has the latest on the brush fire in Northampton and why so many fires are igniting. So we don't have really active flames. The brush fire started at the Fitzgerald Lake Conservation Area on Friday, and the Northampton Fire Rescue crews have been working all weekend, putting out any flames or embers. We have fire that's dug in deep into the uh, into the leaf litter and the uh, into the ground. Northampton Fire Rescue Assistant Chief Matthew Lemberg told 22 News the brush fire is in a part of the conservation that is not easily accessible. We were able to put together a plan and these neighbors were more than willing to let us access their driveways and their backyards to get out into the actual uh, area that's burning. Lemberg says they have created roads allowing brush trucks and UTVs to travel through. The Massachusetts Department of Fire Services reported 106 brush and wildland fires this past week, all of which have been caused by the weather we have been experiencing. When you have low relative humidity, like a dry air mass that we've been dealing with for a while now, uh, breezy conditions, and you have drought conditions as well, um, that's like the perfect ingredients for having high brush fire dangers that will last really until we get any rain. Despite the current weather conditions and lack of rain, the Northampton Fire Rescue, along with the help of many organizations in the area, were able to control this brush fire. With no active flames, crews are walking with hose lines, putting out any embers they may see in the smoldering brush. We've isolated it. The fire line is held. It hasn't spread at all. We're actually shrinking it up. Assistant Chief Lemberg said there is no concern for public safety with the fire. But in regards to the smoke, be cautious on I-91, especially in the morning when smoke is heavier. The Department of Fire Services also asking all residents to avoid activities involving sparks, flames, and heat sources outside. Working for you, Claire Overton, 22 News.